Salut Year 7 et bienvenue au carport aujourd'hui. Right guys, welcome to today's lesson. I hope you're all healthy and well. Let me explain what we're going to do today. We're going to do some revision today for your end of year exams. Now I know what you're thinking, so you didn't tell us about this in previous lessons. Well, I didn't know. The school did say that we weren't going to do them and now they've said we do have to do them. However, these exams won't count. OK, so you're going to do them. You're going to mark them. You're going to see your grade, but it doesn't matter what you get. And you might say, well, what's the point? Well, guys, this is exactly why you do assessment in the first place. Assessment isn't to get a grade for me to put on a spreadsheet somewhere. Assessment is for you to see what you know, to see what you don't know, and then learn the stuff you don't know. So you do know it and therefore you have learned and you've got better at your French. So that is what it's all about. This is why we do assessment. This is going to be a really, really good for you. Now, obviously, I'm not taking the grades in, but you want the best grades you've got. And I want you in two weeks time. We've done them all and we've marked them all to look like this. This is the France team winning the last World Cup. This is what I want you to look like, guys. You will be celebrating because you've done really, really well today. I'm going to help you. We're going to do some revision. I'm going to cast your mind back to the start of the year, yeah? And I'm going to test you on module zero and module one today. So everything we did before Christmas, that's a long time ago. How well do you remember our vocab? We're going to find out. I'll explain a bit more in a second. But first, we'll start this lesson like we always do. Si vous voulez tout le monde, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire dans les cahiers bleus. Il faut copier les dates pour moi. Il faut copier le titre pour moi. On va réviser module 0 et module 1. Et pour le contrôle de post-it de jeudi, j'ai pris les, les phrases et les mots clés de module 0 et module 1. Comment dire? My name is. Do you remember learning this? I have 12 years. That's how you say it in French. I am. I have blue eyes. Be careful. Attention. In my family, there is. And there is a blue rubber. Rubber. I'm calling for Attention, c'est féminin ici. How many eyes have you got? So what do you need to do to this word? Loads for you to think about me, petit. Put me on pause now. When you're ready for the answers, restart and I'll go through them. Bon courage, on y va. Allo mes petits, you're right guys. Let's see how well you've done. Let me just explain what we're going to do this lesson. So first off, we're going to look at some key vocabulary. I've picked 30 must know words that you're going to work through to see how well you can remember these modules. Now, the idea today is that you don't know these words that well and you think, oh, my God, I've forgotten that. And then you revise it and you'll get it right in the real thing and you'll remember it more. So we're going to start with vocab. Then I've picked three former exam or assessment activities from old um, exams from module zero and module one we've done them before but a long time ago what we're going to do is we're going to work through them because the listening assessment is the hardest one year seven you know this you've done listening assessments you know what it's like so we're going to do some practice together we're going to work through them to make sure you're ready to talk about the tricks to talk about how well we can do and then next week when you do the real listening on your own you'll smash through it so guys that's what we're going to do today we'll start by looking at these six phrases how many did you know? Soyez honnête, hein? Je serai content si vous avez, let's say, half marks for now. Toi sur six, je serai content. By the end of this lesson, you'll know all six of these. So, let's go through it. My name is, c'est, je m'appelle, je m'appelle. Look at the spelling of it as well. People always say, je m'appelle. It's not an apple. Je m'appelle, double P, double L. I have 12 years. So, remember in French. You don't say I am and then your age, you say I have. Donc c'est j'ai 12 ans. Voilà, numéro 3. I am is je suis. Voilà, must know. Remember, you'll be describing yourself and you're writing an exam, so you need to know that. Numéro 4. I have blue eyes. So what's the trick here? You don't say blue eyes in French. Where does the adjective come in French? You don't say blue eyes, you don't say grey trousers, you don't say blue shirt, you say shirt blue, trousers grey, eyes blue, and you got two eyes. So you should have, j'ai les yeux bleus, with an S on the end. Remember our adjective, our describing word, has to agree. So for plural, we had an S. What do you add for feminine? We'll find out on number six. All right, numéro cinq. In my family there is, dans ma famille. 
il y a. Remember, il y a key phrase we've been looking at in the past few lessons. It comes up again. Write five down. If you've got five out of five, you are a legend. See if you can do the whole one. There is a blue rubber. So it goes, il y a une gomme bleu with an extra E on the end. Guys, this is what you should have. If you've got three out of six, you've done well. You're exam ready. If you've got more than that, a fantastic effort. If you're not quite up to three, have a bit of revision on Memorize before next week's exams and you'll be fine. Talking about that, and this is what it's all about today. The tough thing about this subject is you have to remember this language. I am now 23, as you all know, and I still use the language up here on screen. So you need to know, even though I learned it in year seven, you need to remember it. Let's test you on what you remember now. Allo, mes petits, what's going on? It's verbal volleyball, it's sable mouvant, but sir where's the french alors j'ai pris le français we will be doing this game in a second but first this is what it'll look like on your exam there's no french here to help you there's 15 words here what i want you to do is put me on pause see how many of these you can say in french and count them up then have a little look at this what category do you fall into are you in the green amber or reds challenge how many of these words do you know? Pause me now, go through them, think, are you green, amber or red? Restart me when you're done. Allo mi petit, right guys, so I imagine most of you are over here, one to eight. If you're here, I'm really impressed with this because you have not seen this in a long time. If you get 13 to 15, that is exceptional because there's some really tough things that you've not seen for a while here. Don't worry if you didn't get into amber or red. Let me show you the French now. Et voilà mes petits. So now it's better, isn't it? Now you can see it. You know how this activity works, mais je vais expliquer en français maintenant mes petits. Il faut dire anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français. Aussi rapide que possible. Vous avez 36 secondes et les mots bleus vont disparaître. Donc, il faut être rapide aujourd'hui. Let me show you an example. Hello, bonjour, hi, salut, how are you? Comment ça va? It's going good, ça va bien. What's your name? Comment t'appelles-tu? Boom. That's how fast you need to be, guys. Put me on pause now. Prepare yourselves when you think you're ready. Restart me, I'll count down and I'll start making the blue words disappear. Bon courage, pause me now, préparez-vous, on y va. Allo mes petits, let's see how well you remember this. You know how this works, I'll count you down. Soyez rapide, et toi, deux, un, allez! Rapidement mes petits, allez, 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 allez! First columns down, so rapid mes petits. And second columns down, allez. Et cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un. Et c'est fini mes petits, alors bon effort. Well done if you got to the end of this. These are all module zero classics that you should know now. You're going to be seeing these in your assessment. Let's now have a look at some module one classics. Et voilà, right, same thing as last time. How many of these do you know? Put me on pause, see how many you can do, and then give yourself a mark out of 15 and see what category you fall in for module one. Pause me now and like count up how many you know. Hello, me busy, right guys. So, what did you get today? This is a bit tougher. If you got one to eight, again, you need to spend some time on memorize, making sure you're ready for this assessment because every single one of these 15 words is going to come up on your assessment. So, you need to know them. Today's lesson is all about finding what gaps exist in your knowledge so we can target them. Let's help you out a bit. Et voilà. So, now with the words beneath i bet you know loads and loads more in fact you probably know all of them you're going to find out same activity c'est la même activité il faut dire anglais français anglais français 
<rire> rapidement parce que les mots vont disparaître. Alors, par exemple, I prefer, je préfère, I don't like, je n'aime pas, I love, j'adore, I hate, je déteste, I like, j'aime, I think that, je pense que c'est agréable. Alors, donc, c'est à vie maintenant. S'il vous plaît, mettez Mr. Ennis sur pause. And when you're ready, restart the video and I'll count you down. Courage. Hello, my pretty right guys. You've had your prep time. You know how this works. Be quick. You have 36 seconds until our words disappear. En commençant, toi, de, un, allez. First column's going, guys. So, rapid, allez. Allez, allez, allez. First column's down, so it's rapid. Et tu vois, deux, un, et ça suffit tout le monde. Our last column didn't go, but that's probably for the best because this was so tough. Guys, a really good effort here. This is another 15 words you have to know. If you weren't so good at this, don't worry. This is what revision's about. Finding what you don't know. Go on to memorize. Go on to module one. And all these words are here and many more. This is a module for you guys to revise. If you're happy and you've done well on these first two starters, you're ready to move on to our challenge for today. Hello, my pretty. Right, guys, so today we've practiced our key vocabulary. So you've looked at some key things and maybe this is for you to revise today. You need to go for it. What we're going to do now is moving on to our second objective, which is developing our listening skills. Now, for all of this today, let me talk about your extra challenge, because the highest performing students and the ones who do best are the students who do this. When you come across a word you don't know, write it down today. Write down the French and write down the English. And what I used to do when I was in year seven all the way through to year 13, yeah, I used to, have to write down the word I didn't know on a post-it note and I used to stick it on my mirror. And then every time I looked in my mirror, which is obviously a lot because I'm a very handsome man, every time I looked in my mirror, I had to look at the French and the English to remind me of it and then I could do my hair or whatever when I had some. So that's what you need to do, guys. That is the best way to get good. Have a little post-it note of words you didn't know. Keep looking at them over and over again and eventually they'll be stuck in your head. That's your extra challenge today to help you revise that key vocab. Let's talk about your listening skills and what you need to do. And I'll move it to you, right guys? So for the listening skills, Here's my advice to you. There's four survival tips to help you out. Number one, when we're listening today and when you're listening in the assessment year seven, you need to accept you won't understand every word. The assessments are at such a level that no year seven in the whole of England would understand every single word of it. Now, the reason for that is that's how language works and the best people they know that it doesn't matter if you don't understand every word, you've got the skill to work out unknown French. And that is how you get the top marks. And it's like that in life, not just France, but when you go to England, sometimes someone talks, there's someone very well spoken, like Mr. Hume in assembly, when you're listening to him, I bet he says some words you don't understand. That doesn't matter. You will learn them eventually. That's what it's all about. So if you don't understand every word, how do you get the top marks? You have to work out the gist. So if you're not sure, but you think they said something, that's usually correct. That's working out the gist from what you do understand. To help you out of this, survival tip three, listen for keywords. When I watch classes do assessment, they all look really confused. And then they say one word like uh, bleu or um, une trousse or something like that. And I see the whole class right at the same time. And I'm like, they've all got that right because they've all heard that word. So sometimes you can be drowning in French and so much French is coming out. You don't understand. And then they say one word that gives you the answer. That's what you need to do. So Bible tip number four, you wouldn't believe that people do this. Never leave a blank. Listen to it. Work out the gist you, as best you can. Listen to the keywords you do know. Don't worry about what you don't know. 
and then don't leave a blank just go for it if you had a gun to your head if you had to choose what would you go for because chances are nine times out of ten you've got the right answer so just trust yourself and go for it you know it better than you think so those are the four survival techniques you're going to need to use them today attached to frog i've put a sheet up with all our activities you can look at that now i'm going to talk through the activities one by one then you're going to listen to the sound file and do the activity then we're going to go through the transcript talk about what the answers are and why i don't know Activité 1, c'est ici. Yes, you've already done it, but it was a long time ago and it's in your pink book, so you don't have a copy of this at home. Alors donc, mes petits, ce qu'il faut faire maintenant, on va écouter les descriptions des personnes ici. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, A, A, G, H. Il faut écrire la bonne lettre ici. So, B is already gone. Let's get rid of him. There's my exam technique coming out. So, what have I got here? I've got all of these people. Number one is going to describe one of them. I need to listen to the description and I need to write the right letter in here. Is it A, C, D, E, F, G or H? Same thing for two, three, four, five and six. Once you've listened to them, do what I've done to B, cross them out to help you out for next time. So this is going to be tough. You get preparation time. Remember this. In the real assessment next week, you're going to get five minutes preparation time. So what I do is this is just one question. I'm going to give you two minutes preparation time now. I want you to put me on pause in this two minutes. Beautifully written, Mr. Ennis. Lovely. I want you to put me on pause for these two minutes. And what do you need to do? Prepare yourself. So look at A. You need to say he's got black, straight hair. OK, how would you say that? You might today want to test yourself and see what you know. You might want to look at your old vocab sheets. Either way, it's fine. This is all practice. This is all revision, whatever works for you today. But next to this, I'd put black. What's the word for black? I'd put straight hair. Here, this guy has got blonde, curly hair. How do you say blonde? How do you say girly? Uh, curly. This is a girl. She's got blonde, curly hair as well, but it's a girl. So how do you say she? starts with an e the word for she it's like a girl's name well you can have a girl called this as well how do you say he what's the word for he there we go if i give you he that should help you out for she then this girl here has got straight blonde hair uh brown or black curly hair straight short hair and she's a girl black and then straight blonde hair and he's a boy so you need to go and write as much as you can next to these people when you think you're ready, then on frog, it says question one, load up the sound file and listen to question one. Now you can listen twice. That's what the exam does. Listen to it twice and see what you can do. But today's revision year seven and you're at home on your own. So you can listen to it two times, three times, four times, five times. It doesn't matter. This is all about you and your practice. Listen to it as much as you want. See if you can get the right answers. When you're happy, you've got all six answers. You need to restart this. I'm going to show you the transcript. I'm going to tell you the answers and see what you've got. So, guys, put me on pause now. Listen to that sound file as much as you will. First, I forgot, prepare, two minutes preparation. Then listen to the sound file. When you've got all the answers, restart the video and I'll talk through them. Right, guys, bon courage. On you up. Hello, mes petits. Right, if you're listening to me now you've got the answers for this activity or you think you have and you're ready to see what i've got all right i'll give you the answers in a second mais en premier regardez les mots en bleu ici j'ai la transcription tu viens d'écouter celui-ci donc ce qu'il faut faire il faut lire 1 2 3 4 5 6 et regarder les lettres que tu as choisi si tu veux changer quelque chose tu peux changer quelque chose maintenant Put me on pause then, have a little read through, see your answer, and if you want to change it, I'll let you change it now. See what you can do. Pause me, read through, change your answer if you want, and you're ready for, like, to, to get the proper answers, restart me. Alors, mes petits, right, let's see what we've got. So the first one says, Elle a les cheveux mi long, blanc et red. Mi long is medium length. Blanc is obviously blanc. Red 
is straight so it's a girl as well so let's look at our girls d is a girl f g and e is a girl okay so those are my girls elle a les cheveux mi long so medium length so it's not f too long it's not g it's too short d's yeah okay d or e blonde they're both blondies red means straight therefore my first one has got to be e goes in here guys this has got to be e voila e in the box <laughs> that is meant to be an e give yourself a rock for that all right our second one this time is talking about il it's talking about a boy il a so look at our boys we've got a we should have crossed out b mr rennis sort your life out so a c is a boy and h is a boy all right so just three il a les cheveux long noir et red long noir red long black straight that's got to be a is number two voila let's put a in there and then i tell you what let me put the answers up e a alors la troisième elle a les cheveux corps noir et red okay so we're back to the girls let's cross out who we've already used to make sure we've got good exam technique e's gone and a is gone so now girls we've put in yellow there's only two left elle a les cheveux corps noir et red that's gotta be g voila numéro cat okay it's back to the boys so have a look at all the ones in orange we've got c and h left il a les cheveux mi long blanc et frisé medium length blonde curly that's gotta be c voila all right guys so get rid of c and then the last two are pretty easy so we've got two girls left and one boy left all right so number five is tough number six should be fine let's sort out which girl they're talking about elle a les cheveux long noir et frisé so she's got long black curly hair it's got to be f et voila and then our last one is the boy because it's il there's only one boy left so we know it's h but let's just double check il a les cheveux corps short blond blonde red straight it is ash voila so it goes e a g c f h guys give yourself a mark out of six for activity one bonnet for me petit add them up we're going to add up our titles at the end this is an example of exactly the sort of level your listening assessment will be this is a tricky question so well done let's just up that difficulty a bit more alors mes petits let's push that difficulty up a bit another bit of revision for module one alors je vais expliquer en français maintenant on va écouter en chanteuse et il faut écouter l'enregistrement et il faut finir les phrases en cochant la boîte correcte donc pour chaque question il y a un, deux, trois possibilités. Par exemple, she sings rap, R&B ou soul. Il faut cocher la boîte qui est d'accord. Par exemple, numéro un, she is tall, medium ou small. Qu'est-ce qu'on entend? Do they say grand, taille moyenne ou assez petit? That's what you need to listen out for. You tick just one box. Attention, year seven. Think back to our um, exam technique what i want you to do first is you're going to pause me and i've got three things you need to do numéro un you need to prepare yourself so before you listen to this recording go through prepare it what's the word for tall write it here in french how do you say medium size write it out quite small write it out look how close together these hairstyles are so blonde black brown i definitely write that next to it to see what you do two minutes prepare yourself for this activity then you've got this it's question two on the recording you can listen to it twice like the exam or you can listen to it as many times as you want see if you can get all six answers when you've listened as much as you can and you're happy with your answers restart the video i'll just like the last activity we'll look at the transcript and read it and then we'll go through the answers good luck guys bon courage Restart the video when you're ready for the answers. On you back.
Et voilà mes petits. Donc ici, j'ai la transcription. Have a little look. Put me on pause again and see as you read through whether you agree with your answer or not to help you out. Do you see how I've highlighted? See number one's in yellow. See how I've highlighted one, two, three, four, five, six. Then in the text, it's the same thing. Where I've highlighted it is where the answer for that question is. So read it through, check your answer and see what you've got. Be careful down here where I've got this red because this is a trap. Did it get you? Put me on pause now and check your answers. When you're ready for them, restart and I'll go through it. Hello, mi petit. Right, guys, so you'd have checked and double checked your answers using the transcript. You now want me to tell you what they are. Okay, let's do it. So, number one, she is. There's three possibilities. It says it here. Elle est assez petite, qui veut dire she's quite small. First, first one is C. Voilà, un C. She has, and it was her hairstyle. It says, elle a les cheveux, car, short, noir, black, et red, straight, short, black, straight hair is B, is what you should have. Right, guys, bon effort if you got that. This one was tough. We only did two lessons in, like, October about what's in our bags dans mon sac. Yeah, did you remember this word? It's here, dans son sac, in her bag. Elle a toujours une garde. Qu'est-ce que c'est une garde? Is it a sandwich? Non, because a sandwich is un sandwich. Is it a bar of chocolate? Non, because that is une barre de chocolat. So even if you didn't know une garde was a water bottle, because they didn't say the other two, you should have worked it out. That is B. Now, just see my exam technique. That's what you'll need to do next week, guys. Alors, numéro 4, the most important object in her bag. So they don't say most important. They say this word essentiel which means essential if something's essential it's really really important so it says me par elle but for her c'est son mp3 qui est essentiel what's an mp3 like an mp3 player so just another way of getting music if you didn't have it on your phone numéro 5 her best quality is that she is it says elle est charmant et belle Belle means beautiful, but it's not one of our options. Charmant means charming. There we go. Right, guys, one more to go, and it's the nastiest one. And I included this activity today because I know when we did this properly, it caught loads of you out, and they're going to do this on the real exam. There's two answers here, isn't it? She really hates violence, injustice, racism. So it says here, elle n'aime pas la violence. Et elle déteste l'injustice. So couldn't you tick either violence or injustice? Yeah? No. Because it says she really hates. Which one's the word, verb to hate? Déteste. This says she doesn't like violence and she hates injustice. So she really hates B. <laughs> you can't even see it. B. Injustice. And that is what you need, guys. So... Bon effort ici, this is a lot tougher. Give yourself a mark out of six for this activity, guys. Well done. Allons, mes petits. Right, guys, excellent effort so far. We're just going up into difficulty, and this last activity, c'est le plus compliqué et le plus difficile. Alors, je vais expliquer. We're going to listen to someone called Farida maintenant, et elle va parler de ce que elle aime faire et ce que elle n'aime pas faire. Ici, vous avez ce qu'elle aime faire et ce qu'elle n'aime pas faire. So guys, what you need to do is listen to what she says and then you need to put the letter either in this box here, if she likes doing it, or if she says she dislikes it, put it here. Now, remember our exam technique. First thing I'm going to do is cross off F because it's in the example and cross off D. <laughs> and then, what are all these things? How do I say all these things? Do I know how to say them in French? Now, some you will. Some, I'm pretty sure you won't know how to say them. You'll have to work it out. That's why it is our last activity to see what you can do. The other thing I put. So when you're preparing, 
are definitely right next to it like how do you say drums how do you say shopping how do you say computer games i look at that as a playstation one retro you need to say what all these things are in french the other thing i like is jim i don't like is je n'aime pas she's not gonna say that all the time she might say stuff like je déteste or je pense que c'est ennuyeux and you need to think right je pense que c'est ennuyeux means i think it's boring therefore she dislikes it so what i'd write next to this bit in your preparation time is all the words you know to say i like or i love or i think it's good and then here i think of all the words to say i don't like it i hate it write them here right guys same as the other questions two minutes to prepare and then this is question three so you can load up that file you can either listen to it twice to give you a feel for the exam or you can listen to it unlimited times until you've got the answers completely down to you when you think you're done restart the video i'll go through the answers and show you the transcript good luck mes petits bon courage on y va Hello, mes petits. What did you think of that? I told you it was getting tougher. Let's do what we always do then. On the right side, regardez dans bleu, il y a les le transcription de ce que vient d'écouter. Read through all the bits in blue. See what you've got. Check your answers and see what you can do to help you out. Pour vous aider. Everything in yellow is what they say they like. See my color scheme. Everything in green is what they say they don't like. See if you followed my pattern as well. Have a read through and see what you've got. When you're ready for the answers, restart the video and I'll go through it. Allons mes petits, let's see what we've got then. So let's go through all the likes together. First thing they say is j'aime jouer de la batterie. Now this is a word I don't think we have learned. You had to work it out. Does it mean batteries? Obviously not. There's no batteries here. And who would say, I like playing with batteries? There's not a lot you can do with them. So it's not that. What do you think this word battery can mean? It is drums. Think about if you batter something, you hit it really hard. Battery is drums. So B is one of our first answers for what they like. Let's keep going. Let's just do the likes. Just the bits in yellow. Then it says down here, jouer au jeu vidéo, c'est génial. Génial means great. What's great? Jouer au jeu vidéo means playing computer games. So E is another one of our answers. And then our last positive, j'adore voyager. C'est super bien. So you've got two clues. J'adore is I love. Super bien means like super cool. And then it's this word here that the answer is voyager. It's a verb. It means to it's a voyage if you voyage what you do you travel so i is the answer so voila this is what you should have doesn't matter about the order b e i in any order <coughs> three marks for that me pretty alors la deuxième partie let's find out what they don't like then it's all the stuff in green the first one's quite nice and straightforward it goes je, it goes je n'aime pas le sport C'est ennuyeux, so ennuyeux means boring, je n'aime pas as I don't like, so A is your first one for me guys. Then the second is je déteste le shopping, c'est nul, I hate shopping, it's rubbish, so C is going to be your next one, the last one is toughest. It says it again, je n'aime pas, then it says lire les magazines, now we haven't learned this, obviously this is an English word, Lear is out, well, the same as English. Lear is the verb to read, and it says, I don't like reading magazines, so you should have G. So, she likes B, E, I, and they dislike A, C, and G. Don't know why that's been missed off. A, C, G is what you should have. Guys, six marks for this. This is mega tough. Give yourself a mark out of six for me. Allons, mes petits. Right, guys, so that's everything for today i'm going to talk about the marks and give you an idea of the mark scheme next i just want to talk about my extra challenge quickly have you done this today <coughs> as we're going for the transcript have you picked out 10 words you didn't know maybe you've got more even better write them down stick them up remember my tip put on a post-it put on your mirror you'll see what to do mind you you probably don't look in a mirror because it's too scary put it somewhere where you look at quite often guys Alors, so let's see what we've got then. Let's see what you can do. Now, this out of 48, this is obviously 
for the end of year exam. So you can ignore this today. I just wanted to show you what it looks like and how many marks you will need to get out of 48 to get all the different levels available. Today is out of 18. So what you can do if you're good at maths is work out your percentage. So to work out your percentage, whatever you've got, say if you've got 10 overall, yeah, you divide that by 18 and then you times it by 100 and it will give you like a really long number, but you can work out what that is. Just round it up to out of 100 and that's your percentage. So, for example, if you did get 10 out of 18 and I'm not got some amazing maths, I'm using a calculator here. So 10 divided by 18 is 0.555. So times it by 100 is going to be 55 percent. That would give me 55%, which I can look at this and work out 55%. Excellent. I've got a grade 2.3. See what I've done. So do that with your work today if you want. See whereabouts you've been next week if you manage the same. Now, you can boost whatever score you've got with your homework this week. And here it is, guys. So I've loaded it up. Your homework is the Year 7 Revision Booklet. Now, it is big but it will really help you. There's four different sections you need to do. So the first one is vocab. You'll see on the first page, <laughs> you'll see on the first page that you've got this vocabulary section and then I've got the vocab sheets again. However, I haven't put any English here. Why? This is for you to complete. Get on this and test yourself. You should be able to fill all of this are in English. If you can't, then go on to the Memorize, practice the right module and then fill it out. And you've got one for all three of the modules that will be tested. See how much English you know, see what words you don't know. That's activity one. Then activity two, whoops, I got some practice reading questions. See what you can do on these, see if you can answer the questions. Three is the impossible test. Now this, I've got all the bits of French we've talked about. You need to test yourself on it. The answers are there as well. See if you can do the impossible test. And part four, you don't actually need to do because we're not going to do the writing exam. So don't worry about this one. Just the first three parts for me, please. This is your homework. Please email me if you've got any questions about this. Be happy to get your emails me. So guys, that's all you need to know for today. Great effort today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed listening to some French today. We'll do one more practice next lesson of the same sorts of things and then we'll get into it. Alors, mes petits, merci pour aujourd'hui. À la prochaine fois. Au revoir.